Chat, welcome to a segment of retail exclusive games. I was going to call it rental only, but that's not really true. Some of these are rentals only. Um, some of them are sold exclusively at one store or another. This is a pack by Brute Tigrex. Thank you. And uh, I have some notes and I have some games and we can take a look. So I guess we should start with Sneak King. Like we should start with it, right? I mean, it only makes sense. So I'm sure some of you already know the story of Sneak King, but it was sold with the purchase of a value meal at Burger King. This was like one of those meme games too for a little while. Um, and it's on the Xbox. Players take control of Burger King's mascot, the King in a stealth food delivery themed game that spans four levels based on Burger King's commercial advertisements. Burger King's um, Russell Klein would attribute the three game project as being the driving force behind the company's 40% quarterly sales increase. So, yes, I'm playing this on the computer. It is an Xbox game, so there might be some problems. Hopefully there will, uh, there will not be. I tested it enough. It was, let me tell you, it was a pain in the ass to get this to work. Like actual genuine pain in the ass. But I think it'll be worth it. Um, note, I've never played this game, even though I have a copy of it. Because I never had an original Xbox. Oh boy, we've got reversed camera. This is creepy. It's morning, you've got enormous omelette sandwiches to give away. Make three deliveries to hungry folks in this sawmill and consider this breakfast mission accomplished. Try not to be seen though. Look at the way he moves. He's amazing. <clears throat> Remember, 40% increase <laughs> in sales at Burger King. The thing is, though, if you're giving free burgers, wouldn't people be happy to see you? Well, I guess if you look as gormless as the king, maybe not. Sneak King contains both an Xbox and Xbox 360 version on the disc. Oh. Well then, I still haven't played it. I did have an Xbox 360. Peripherals are so bad. No one has any peripherals. Ah, Colonel, I'm shitting in a box. I mean, sitting. I'm sitting in a box. You know, Snake, bird shit can be felt from three miles away. Snake, did you know that Burger King is actually not good for you? Master Miller. Yeah, it's me, your old pal, Master Miller. Here in Shadow Mo- I mean, you're there in Shadow Moses. Snake, Burger King burgers are filled with preservatives. Hmm, that's an awfully strange American accent you've got there. Master Miller. Ah. Also, Kaz loves burgers. Are you sure you're Master Miller? It always comes back to Solid Snake. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm trying to deliver burgers, but they don't want it. Why don't they want the burg? Oh, this one wants the burg. No, 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 you don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, 
I get it now. Also, this person is, like, stone dead. Even, even if it shows birds, make no mistake, they're dead. Alright, now we wait until someone's hungry. Exactly, those were vultures. They weren't, they weren't birds of a feather that flocked together. Um, King is not following OSHA rules. Uh, chat, I, I don't actually know how to give another person a burg. This is bootleg Majora's Mask theme. Oh yeah, kind of does remind me a little bit of that. They, they almost speak Simlish. New missions have been unlocked. The king's tassels are hard. Chris Sandwich, a registered trademark, sandwiches. Three hungry citizens. So is the whole game just delivering different Burger King items, TM, to people? It's This is the whole game. I see. How do we go to a different level? You have to complete all the missions here. But that could take a long time. If you move the most product, you unlock the real game. Actually, if you move the most product in this, you get a free job at Burger King. This is like the last Starfighter. It's just trying to... Oh, he passed out from hunger. Just whatever you do, don't pass out from hunger near those saws. Yeah, it's like the last Starfighter. Burger King was trying to find the best Burger King employees and the next Gorski, but for Burger King instead of McDonald's. And so they released this game as an attempt to find their next star Burger King employee. Yeah, Burger King. I found the Burger King. Someone said, I couldn't move product for a week after having Burger King. Oh. That bad, huh? How about some Metamucil? Also, Burger King's not doing so great right now. Look, I've, they're, on Staten Island alone, I think a bunch of them have closed. Yeah, they're not- they're not great. It's my least favorite fast food. It's the one that gets me the most sick. But, um, no, I mean, there's things on the menu I like, or have liked traditionally in the past, of course, but... They're not doing that great. I think they need to release a new Sneak King. Chat, did you know that Sneaking and Sneak King are similar words? You see what they did? That's very clever. Oh, uh, another quick thing. I wanted to let you know, chat, this week coming up, I have three separate events at night, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I won't be live any of those nights. I'm going to try to be uh, live tomorrow, though, early. So it's just going to be a hard week for me to stream.
Just to let you know. Oh, this is better than the Metal Gear Solid collection that was just released. Why did it save? Some, someone said, Vinny, I always wanted to play this, but GameStop wanted $30 for this used. Also, wasn't there a, some YouTuber or something who was, like, hoarding this? You lost, you had to not get caught. Okay. There's, like, one YouTuber hoarding all the Sneak King copies. I almost don't want to do Flourish 3 because it takes so goddamn long for it, the animation to play out. Someone just said this game sucks. Uh, yeah. There is an ironic love for this game. At the very least, it's functional. Like, there's, th like, two things you can do in the game, and they both work. And the king has animations. Please find the first person button. You need to see it. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. Gray Leno first person view. Oh, you mean this guy? Or this guy. Delivered double jolts by not only surprising some lucky sawmill worker with a stimulating cup of BK Joe coffee, but doing so from within a hiding place. Check out the delicious taste of BK Joe coffee. But only give it to them while they're, um, while you're hiding. BK Joe coffee has a smooth, creamy taste, and it's full of caffeine to get you started in the morning. Uh, why is it creamy? Oh. You don't want to know why it's creamy. A bold, artisanally crafted paste, just for you. Look at that BK Joe coffee, motherfucker! Great noise, by the way. Uncle Walnut, this tastes like Dorcas! There's, like, no real variety in the missions. So you have to, like, do chains and... I just want to go to a different level. Five of twenty missions. Oh, man. Are there cheats? Oh, inverse camera controls. That's better. The completionist completed this game and, and he fucking hated it. Yeah. Let me see if there are um, Sneak King cheats. 
I kind of doubt it, but unlock the sneaking suit. Oh. Sneaking suit. That's all there is. Ten missions unlocks the next level. Uh, chat, is it, it, do, no. I, I don't think I have another five missions in me. Can one of my mods make a poll? Like, does, does anyone actually want to see the next levels? No. Oh, okay. In that case, <laughs> that solves that problem. My, like, the chat is 90% no. I thought there was, I, I was looking, oh, there is a Bust a Blood Nut in the chat. Someone has taken it upon themselves to name themselves Bust a Blood Nut. Proud of you, chat member. All right, so, um, yeah. So, yeah. All right, great. I think we're good here. So that is Sneak King, and for a game that you could get at Burger King, you could probably get like 10 minutes out of it, and also increase Burger King's stock for them. So, if that's what you want to do, then yeah, you can do that. Not something I'd want to spend too much time on. Alright, uh, so what, what are next? Next is... Okay. Next is Ren and Stimpy Fire Dogs. Blockbuster rental exclusive. Fire Dogs is based on an episode of the Ren and Stimpy animated series that aired during the show's first season, which is an episode I've seen a lot. I um I, I might have streamed this at some point. I don't I don't really know, but Oh god. I don't think I've ever played this, and I rented a lot of games from Blockbuster. And Ren and Stimpy was my favorite show growing up. Like I watched it I was way too young. Nineteen ninety three. Okay. Um You assume control of Stimpy as he moves up and down a fire station in order order to gather the following seven objects a hose, uniform, helmet beaver, trampoline, rope, and a pair of socks. Okay. Played it during Forgotten Mascots? <clears throat> Got it. Um, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, this, this looks vaguely familiar. Apparently this is terrible. Do you think they knew it was terrible, which is why they made it a Blockbuster exclusive? Oh yeah, I remember that dude. I absolutely do remember this. Yeah, this is shit. This is like, this is Garbo. It's the hose. You see, when Stimpy did that, he had... Wait, what's going on? Why is Stimpy... Oh, what, what happened to him? What happened to him? I thought he got, like, sick. I think he's just supposed to be a Dalmatian, like, in the episode. It's, it's the Dalmatian subplot. 
But I swear, I thought he was molded. For a second there. Don't I have the kitty litter? I picked up kitty litter. You are guaranteed to lose? Where's Ren? Everyone all at once in chat is like he's dead. Okay. I, again, he looks like a corpse. He just moved though, so he's not dead. But he's not at all contributing to this situation. He, he's in fact just like laying down and enjoying the suffering that Stimpy must do. Simpy, Simpy, <laughs> Simpy must suffer. It's very typical, Ren. Oh, oh, there's a really strict timer too. I didn't even see that. I hate that fireman. Look, look at his fucking gormless expression. So if you do somehow manage to complete this, you, you got 2 minutes and 14 seconds out of the game. Alright, I think we've seen enough. Yeah, that's- that's bad. That is bad. Bad rental, even for five bucks back in the day. Hell no. We'll stick with, um, Super Nintendo. Eek the cat, everybody. Now, this is a blockbuster rental exclusive as well from 1994. I don't really have much to say about Eek the Cat, other than the fact it's based off a cartoon of the same name. I guess that's why they made it a blockbuster exclusive. Maybe so. <laughs> this music reeks early 90s as well. Very... Very midi. In the best possible way. Like, I just love MIDI guitar. It doesn't sound like real electric guitar, but I don't care. I love it. So I know this about Eek. He's extreme. I know he's extreme. Because he's falling. It never hurts to help. So was this like an attempted mascot foible? Um, Garfield, rather? A, a Garfield competitor. Eek's face is... I don't know, I don't like it. Wait, what if we let Granny get gushed by the elephant? Oh, not good. I have no recollection of this game at Blockbuster, and I was in Blockbuster, like, every two weeks. So, it's an escort mission. The whole game is an escort mission. That bodes well. Are you just stuck down here now, Granny? I guess so. There's a hack that fixes the brightness. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is going on with the brightness? Not like I need to see what's going on. It's it's not going to improve this experience. Oh, Eek is dead. Oh, damn, I was happy for a moment. Yeah, this is one of those ideas of, like, you could, but why would you? Picked up a Sneak King burger. Someone said the music fucks. Um, it's not bad. Kind of like it. 
Wait until you see Eek's girlfriend? I did, it's Granny. Wait, no, I'm never gonna get far enough to see Eek's girlfriend. How was your daylight savings time experience? The daylight savings squid visited me, visited me and uh, I overslept. <clears throat> I don't get it. I, like once Granny's down here, is that it? Is it over? He's dead. It never hurts to help. Press A while pushing Granny to make her jump. That does not work. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's just a giant escort mission. The whole fucking thing is an escort mission. Oh, that's not how you do that. Oh, man. I mean, it's still doable, but uh, this reminds me of, you know what? This is like that Rocco's Modern Life game, but a little bit better, maybe, because it controls a little bit better. But this, this whole escort shit was done in a way worse way with that game. Why is it so dark? I think a, it's a problem. It's a glitch. I don't know. Um... Also, another game on the Super Nintendo I actually really liked called The Lost Vikings. And that was... Escort-esque. I mean, you controlled the three Vikings and then you could move them around. One, a Blizzard game. Remember when Blizzard made different games other than Warcraft? And Warcraft again? And war more Warcraft? Di Diablo Mobile? Costello? Someone said, I've had Gilf escorts before, but not like this. Yeah. It never hurts to help. Apparently the dark palette was the result of a developer fuck up late in development because the colors are just stored like that in the ROM, but pre-release screenshots are much brighter. All right. Well, I think I've, I, I tried. I don't really like this game very much. I respect, um, I don't, I don't even know if I respect it, but it's, it, it exists. It's fine. Uh, sticking with Super Nintendo, we're gonna go to Mr. Nuts. Vinny, see the game over screen? If you can get me a screenshot of Eek's girlfriend and the game over screen, I will show it. Just let me know when you have it in chat. So this is Mr. Nuts, and, uh... I, I actually do not have information about this game. It's not here, so I'll, I'll look it up. So Ocean Software made this. Uh, the Super Nintendo won Best Platform Game for 1993 by Consoles Plus Magazines. Oh. Okay, Eek's girlfriend has been discovered, everybody. And if you can believe it, 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 
And if you can believe it... That wasn't the Game Over screen chat member. I don't know if this is a store exclusive. I can't find any information about such a thing. Yeah, I can't find that. Um, it's okay. I feel like I might have played this too. <clears throat> Nintendo Power said it was rental only back in the day. Remember, this one best platformer by nuts and uh, consoles or something. Is that a blue meanie? That's actually a fucking blue meanie from the Yellow Submarine movie. This game is famous for having terrifying boss fights. It's also got a terrifying run button, which is the top button, and the jump button is the bottom button. Like, why would you do that in a platformer? Me, Mr. Nuts, how you doing? There's a really good video today, um, about Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger's development. What's the name of the channel that did that? Does anyone know? Because I forgot. Spawn, uh, Splash Wave. Yeah, there you go, Splash Wave. Excellent video. That B just reminded me of a little bit of Secret of Mana. Same for the sound font, slightly. Strafe Fox, there you go. High recommendation to watch that video. It's it's really good and it's short. It's like half hour, but the, there's like piranha plants. <laughs> Are you Michael? God, Mister Nuts, why is your world so terrifying? So this, this one best platformer. Meanwhile, you have flowers that open up when you're an inch away from them. Look up the bosses after this. I'm just gonna look up the bosses, you're right. Chat member has a link. Oh, wow, okay. Um, well, it's not bad controlling. It's a little bit, like, it's a little touchy. Like, it's it's not, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you, you move, and you you go quick. Um, and some of these enemies just kind of sneak up on you. I'm also playing poorly, so I'm sure there are people who like Mr. Nuts, and it is a good game. But, <clears throat> I'm not having as much fun as I would maybe some other platformer, like Eat the Cat. What'd that be? What'd that be do, though? This seems like a video game you'd see a kid playing in a movie. Hit. See, it kind of does remind me of Secret of Mana music. Alright, um, here we go. Whoa, cool game over, Rock. But here's some... Mr. Nuts boss fights, just so you can see. <clears throat> yeah, that is a little bit weird, that. Really disgusting spider um, redneck, I think. That witch looks like something from Disney. So there's, yeah, the, the blue meanie seems to have been, um, let's just say there's influence. And this is the influence of Snow White. 
Good mode 7. I don't know if this is a specific thing that was, you know, borrowed from, from elsewhere, but it's a squid. I love this dude. Is this supposed to be Paul Bunyot? It's, it's Zangief. Oh my god. Why would, why would they design this from Mr. Nuts? He's a cute little squirrel. Leave him alone. Yeah, this is nightmare shit. Imagine renting Mr. Nuts and getting to this. Is he throwing clown pies? Okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> inflated. Grew three, uh, two heads, two extra heads, and then inflated. But again, um, Link to the Past did that with the heads. So that then you have a Yeti. Creepy face. Not a, more like a, a Bigfoot. Sasquatch. A, a, a Squatch. That's the final boss. You get to see Squatch's feet. Very nice. I mean, the music is pretty good. The the bosses are actually... Yeah, they're, this one in particular. Holy shit. It's amazing. Okay. Hang on, chat. I'm uh, doing a little bit of... Uh Um, this is the Eek the Cat game over. So I don't know why this was recommended. It's just, it's in, it's in the garbage. It's nothing crazy. People get it confused with Felix the Cat. Oh, maybe so. Right, um, unless I missed something. But next is, what system should we move on to? Uh, DS Chibi Robo Park Patrol. Okay, so this is only sold at Walmart in 2007 on the DS. Retaining the gameplay of its predecessor, Park Patrol has many environmentalist themes and highlights the importance of parks and dangers of pollution to the environment. Because of this, it was decided for the game to be a Walmart exclusive. What? Yeah, because when I think about good for the environment, I think of Walmart. To promote the game, Nintendo of America gave out packets of seeds to 500 randomly selected people who registered the game on the company's website. Someone just said Chibi Robo was done so dirty. Yes, it was. Okay. Cir Citrus Soft Robotics is committed to making a difference in people's lives. Um, as the premier name and home robotics, we're proud to unveil our latest in innovation. Please give a warm welcome to the newest member of the Citrus Soft Robotics family. Blooming Chibi Robo. This tiny robo is just four inches tall, but it's even more powerful than before. This this is like the beginning of Robocop, just reversed. 
Let's take a look at some of its improvements as it rolls off the line. Come along. Vin uh, when will Vincent play the Robert Cop game? I'm going to try to finish the stuff I have now, and then I might check out Robert Cop game a little bit. I have to find a way to request the key for it, because that's, uh... You know, 50 bucks is a little bit of a tall order there for a Rob Robert Cop, but I'll, I'll take a look. I've heard really good things about it. Anyway, you're Chibi Robo, um... And your little fella, and the guy's, like, talking to you and stuff. So far, I'm really invested here. Dr. Duke Harold of Citrusoft Robotics. Nuff wanks. Yeah, Olimar, is that you? Ah! Pollution's a problem. Green places are going gray. Stimpy turned gray. You'll be using your boombox and squirter. Use the boombox right over there to make flowers produce seeds. Spray the buds with the squirter to make them grow into flowers. Squirter, huh? It's just, there's so many low-hanging fruits. What, must one pick all of the low-hanging fruits, though? So this one, you have to control with the touch screen. And, uh, also with the D-pad. Or the, the yeah, yeah, the D-pad. So th this is a little, um... Oh, you can pump. You can pump the squirter. <laughs> okay, great. I mean, I wasn't gonna go there, chat. I was actually trying to be, you know, somewhat, like, um, my age for once. Play the song near the plant. Seven. It's not, not as easy to do as it seems, chat. Maybe with a touch screen it would be a little easier, but with the mouse, it... Good enough. Oh, I think I need to use the water now, so we can pump. Happy points. 
wait, 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 when you get something to squirt, you get happy points? Again, the fruits are low, and they're available to be picked. They're ripe, like the flowers. White flowers produce seeds when you play music. I got it. Should be Robert. Should be Robo's gardening capability is a green answer to the pollution epidemic. You can turn barren, polluted areas into lush fields. I just... Oh, Blockbuster. See, another mention of Blockbuster. We sure this wasn't a rental? Olimar and Egad are both in this game? That's weird. It was a, a Walmart exclusive. I know, I'm just messing around. All the little chibi robos are going to save the world. But what if a chibi robo climbs into your pee hole? Oh cool, is that like a video game store? Yeah. Well. I tried being normal for a few minutes. The, yeah, I mean, oh, catheter, yeah. All right. Chibi. We spent a long time on this one game, and I wanted to not spend as much time on this one game. But, you know, it, it's taking a while to get started. Is that an intent a Famicom controller and we're talking to an automaton? If this is actually a good game, it's like, why have it be Walmart exclusive? Why, why not, like, give Chibi Robo a chance to succeed? This poor little fella has been treated like shit by Nintendo. I'm gonna have nightmares of this thing's voice. <laughs> it sounds like Miku with a throat infection, says a chat member. Someone said this game is worth completing. It's not perfect, but it's charming. I'm, I've been seeing that it's pretty good, but it's light on stuff. Like, it's not a very, like, full-featured game, but it's, it's actually pretty decent. It sounds like Hugh Neutron shitting into a drum, but pitched up. <laughs> oh my god, you're not wrong. And that sounds like Hugh Neutron shitting into a drum, but it's pitched down. Hey, Pops. Does this thing work?
Let me play the game. Thank you, Tutorial Automaton. <laughs> Misophonia voice. Yeah, seriously. The worst part is I'm only gonna- Oh, man, the fucking plug just went through those steps. Game is 0 out of 10. Oh, man, we know! You exist! I'm gonna get into the game and then only play it for, like, 25 seconds. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks like... You probably get other tools, and, you, like, at some point, you'd do more than just squirt, I would imagine. You get a little bike? Well, that's cute. It's not what I'd expect Chibi Robo to be doing with his time, like, hanging out like here, in a garden like this, but I'm happy for him. Actually, I'm not happy for him. I'm sad for Chibi Robo. Dude's been... pretty, uh... gimmicky over the years, we'll say. No, you. I don't think you can take a picture of a condom with this Chibi Robo game, unfortunately. Tea cozy. Right, exactly. So then you deposit your happy points, and then eventually you can get stickers and gear. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's some stuff here. I don't want to play much more of it, but I appreciate it. Sorry, Chibi Robo. We've got many more games to play. Well, not many, but a couple more. <laughs> May as well stick with the Nintendo DS. This is a game called Soul Bubbles. Sold only at Toys R Us. The core gameplay involves transporting spirits with protective bubbles through varying environments. Bubbles are moved by being blown by the main spirit herder character based on stylish strokes of the DS touchscreen. Is this when Toys R Us got shit canned, though? <laughs> I'm a spirit herder. I need an apprentice. Um, I meditate and blow into the microphone. Son, I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. And you know I can't do that. I mean, I don't think BizHawk has a way to do it. Well, shit. You can assign a button? Um, I would like to, yeah. Usually with DS, in the past I've been able to do it. Um, for different things, but it doesn't look like this one has it. <clears throat> hey! <clears throat> Sorry. I might be able to do this.
Oh God. Oh my God. What's going on here? Oh Jesus. I'm uh, sorry. I'm trying a different thing and it, it is all kinds of fucked up. How do you do choices voice? That's on, that's a 3ds game. Um, but I don't have all the thing is I don't have all of the stuff ready to go at all times. I have to kind of just hope that they work. And, uh, you know, I usually have to prepare because I don't remember like getting a lot of this stuff set up on a moment's notice is not easy. Uh, but right now the audio, the video is fucked. So give me like, let me try to do this. Maybe I still can magnification filter screen gap, window size, rotation, vertical. Okay. I mean, this would end up working, but there's some there's some issues. Uh, I, the the video is 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 bad right now. Okay. Might not be able to see soul bubbles easily tonight, chat, or ever. Try one more attempt. So that's what's happening there. I don't know why it's happening. <sighs> All right. Soul bubbles. DS trailer. Soul Bubbles trailer, Soul Bubbles. I don't think anyone's actually ever even played this game. There's a Let's Play from... What year is this? Oh, five years ago? Okay. That's a bit disorienting. Maneuver gameplay. From 15 years ago. I'll just download the one from 15 years ago. So, so this is what the game is. You just blow bubbles. Apparently Scott the Waz covered this. That's nice. It, this doesn't surprise me, this information. This feels like a Scott the Waz kind of game. I don't know why. Was core? Da, 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 da. That sounded familiar. Yeah, alright, so that's soul bubbles. Whatever. We can't really see it um, properly. I can't play it. Goddamn microphone doesn't want to work, and that's fine. We're going to move on to Eggs of Steel. Uh, we're going we're gonna to work. It worked before. Great. It actually did work before. Oh! There it is! Okay. Charlie's Excellent Adventure. Blockbuster rental exclusive. Watch out at Altus fans. Persona's got a new rival. Play as a construction working Eggman who dances when you finish a level. There's egg-related gore, too. Huh? Egg-related gore?
Welcome to Eggs of Steel. I'm Charlie. Wait, Enix had something to do with this too? They publish it? Rhythm and Hughes? This was made by an animation company, Rhythm and Hughes. It was their one and only game. We, you know what? I wish we lived in a dimension where this was a huge success. Oh, that was egg-related gore. I get it now. Now remember, this was a time where 3D graphics were pretty mind-blowing, so even if you did just rent Eggs of Steel, you might look at this and be like, wow. Someone probably wanted to fuck this egg at some point. Because, you know, there's enough of us on this planet. That's usually the case. That was pretty close. Hey, Vi you, Vinny? Right. Uh, son, I didn't even know this existed until five seconds ago. Well, look at them fingles. Okay. Okay. Oh, Most incompetent egg of all gosh. time. I... Aside from Humpty Dumpty, who fell off of a fucking wall. No problem. Who mightn't have even been okay. an egg? No problem. So there's a game here? Alright, check this out. You're doing that remove pages. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, I tell you. Emergency shows on use reset. Reset. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's that? Where's that? Where's the switch? Expert developer. Developer voice acting. Must shut down mill. Reset switch. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I do have nostalgia for this era of 3D graphics, though. Like, it looks like those Mario 64 renders. That's, that's my office, okay? Uh... What an intro. What an intro for a game about an egg. Sorry, a mumbling egg. Oh. No. But how does the eggshell morph like that around the mouth? That was weird. Oh boy. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. But why does this egg read like this? You have to like lay down and, and show show the feet. Uh, anyway, chat. Oh, hang on, I can throw a nut. That was the coolest thing that happened so far, was that that nut went towards the camera. Oh! Tutty, huh? You notice his helmet changes color when he attacks. No. Wait, whoa, 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 that's weird. Oh, no, 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 it changes color when he's near a, tu uh, a letter, like a tutorial thing. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know how excellent this game actually is, but I mean, good animations, fun to look at. Nintendo 64. This is um Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, 1999, blockbuster rental exclusive, Lucas Arts Company Store. First. Oh god. Hang on, let me change the plugin. Oh god. What have I done? The fuck? Anyway, it's the first 3D installment of the series, and the story is set in 1947. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not the right one. I, I don't know if we're gonna actually get the, uh... This game is notoriously difficult to emulate, especially on Project 64. Well... It looks like a lot of these games I won't be able to play. Factor 5 games have, yeah, they, they have a lot of issues. So much crunch towards the end of the N64 port, there are tons of bugs, crashes, and soft locks. Hence it being shoved out at Blockbuster, which was a better choice than not releasing it. It's a shame, too, because Factor 5 is an amazing... They were amazing. They developed, um... Rogue Squadron. Rogue Leader. And, like, a, a lot of really good compression technology. DMC A DMC But yeah, they they did some pretty amazing shit with the N64 and like higher resolution modes and like getting pretty amazing sound and video into uh into it as well and uh on the gamecube one of the launch titles was rogue leader it was fucking amazing looking for its time it still looks good yep <laughs> yep uh <sighs> Part-time.
So there is a full playthrough on YouTube. And uh, this game was... You need the same plugins you use for Mario Polygon Studio. I don't know what those are. I don't even know if you're joking. But I'm going to go to YouTube and look up some video because I don't have the time for this. But yeah, apparently this game was pretty inspired by um, Ocarina. Babylon. A lot of mud brick and not much else. Why do the Russians want to dig it up? <laughs> Harrison board. A lot of box climbing. River south of Baghdad. Babylon. Remember your Bible? That's where mortals raised the Tower of Babel to invade heaven. Well, you know, this does look like the ruins of a Timonanki, the ziggurat often identified with the tower. Very good, Dr. Jones. You're looking at the brainchild of one Gennady Volodnikov of the Leningrad Physics Institute. He thinks there's some truth to the biblical legend. I'm just going to take a quick sample of all hmm. the locations. You're going in and out of houses, you're swimming, you're solving puzzles, you're shooting, you're whipping. Sophia, what are you doing here? Ooh. You're boning, you're climbing a ladder like you have a cramp in your leg. I don't know why like, he's climbing like that. Okay! I wonder if Indiana Jones believes in paranormal things now. After seeing a lava monster. I am a great mighty poo. Fucking, it's a blark. The first movie literally has the Ark of the Coven Covenant. Oh yeah, no, 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 there's paranormal shit all over Indiana Jones, but I think in, in the most recent movie, for a little while, he's like, I don't know if I believe in this shit. There's like some line where he, he like kind of is a little dismissive. I could be wrong though, I might be misremembering. But you get the idea, chat. I, again, I'm sorry I can't play this. It freezes. So, you know. Also, Xbox is hard to emulate. There's another game on here that I also cannot play because it is does not make it past the intro movie. Vinny, so they really just ripped off Ocarina of Time's UI with their whole ass pussy. Did you have to say it like that, chat member? But sure, yeah. So here's another one. I remember seeing this one. This is Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, 1998, Blockbuster Rental Exclusive. It's an updated version of Clay Fighter 63 and a third. It added four new characters initially cut from 63 and a third and changed some other gameplay aspects. Copies of this game can now go for thousands of dollars. Volcano, though. So yeah, this is a fighting game where... Wait, is that a window error noise? Kinda sounds like it. Um, but yeah, this is a, a fighting game where all the, the characters are clay. I'm a cloud. Laugh. Oh, perfect. All these clowns. Mm, let's 
Get ready to crumble! Is that actually him? <laughs> Fight! That was brilliant! It is him? Michael Buffer. How come no one plays this competitively? Like, why don't why don't we see this more at, like tournaments? I remember you got crushed the last time you played this on stream. I don't know if I played this specific one. I played a clay fighter. I'm not sure because it's three thousand dollars on eBay. Yeah, but someone by now can make N64 cartridges, right? Get him, Phoebe. Get him, Phoebe. Nice iframes. Some of these voice actors sound familiar. Get him, Phoebe. It is Rob Paulson. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how to play this. I have no idea how to play this. I'm just trying to throw dogs at the fucking Statue of Liberty, who apparently also has a potty mouth. Let me just poke. Let me just poke in the spot. Just keep poking. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. It's not working, chat. I don't know. I thought my strategy was flawless. Get him, baby. Holy fuck. Well, that's a shame. Hey, that's not clay. It's game over. It's fine. The game's fine. Mm, probably not. Zappa boys? Is that Frank Zappa's children? Get him, baby. Santa's Toy Factory. Let's get ready to crumble! Booger versus Clown in Santa's Toy Factory. This makes lots of sense. And that's why this game is $3,000. Oh, we went down here now. Why does Santa have a jet? Get him, Phoebe! I, I'm going to be hearing that in my dreams. Wait, do I become a horse? For a, oh yeah, there's a horse kick. That could be instant death. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, this booger has actually got a lot of different moves. This the booger can become different things. The game has playtalities too. I feel like I remember that. But <clears throat> yeah. I mean it's it's not bad. I'm sure there's people who are actually good at this game and know how to fucking play well. But I am not one of them. Uh, burgers keep slipping out of the boogers. Use your super combo. I, 
I like I like how you assume I just know how to do that. Circle back attack. Which attack? There's so many attack buttons. Okay. Get him, Phoebe. Um, oh, there's... Uh, try going to the exclamation mark character and then hold L or Z, press B. The, my buttons are all different because it's a different controller, so I'm not going to know what buttons those are. B. I, I'm sorry to say I, I cannot do that cheat code. It's not going to work. Is this the version with Earthworm Jim? I mean, it might be. Might be. Okay, real quick. There is one more game, which again does not emulate at all. I mean, I, uh, I can't play it on my Xbox, so it's called... Um, not Sneak King, Sneak King. It's called Sneakers. Sneaker. Or Sneakers. Alright. I'll just show you a little bit of it because it, it just completes the segment. So this game is sold only at Toys R Us. It's from the Wild Arms developers. Sneakers was marketed for making the use of fur shading graphics. Um, the design of the mice in Sneakers is intended to show the technical capabilities of the Xbox. First released in Japan as a launch title. Hmm. Get him, Phoebe. So yeah, you play as a, a rat. A little rat. I mean, a rat fella. Not Stuart Little. But yeah, this is just graphics display, basically. Um, like, look at the rat, and it's got fur. And then you <clears throat> jump into little holes. This game is not good and has some absolutely terrible sound designs as a chat member. Yeah, but the graphics, though. <clears throat> yeah, no, this is a mouse, right? I mean, Sneakers is a mouse, not a rat. Please listen to the final boss music. It is insane. Okay. Ratsies? What? Wait, does the song have a different part? Oh my god. One, two, oh! No, there's there's more music here. All right, that's the segment. I thought it was interesting. A lot of these games don't work. Uh, you know, again, it's just unfortunately, it's just not something that uh. 
that makes a whole lot of sense because uh, apparently it was chosen that game was chosen over halo as a japanese launch title what the fuck yeah it's still interesting to learn about these games but I, on, again a lot of them just did not work so now you know which games were rental only and that clay fighter could go for four hundred thousand dollars sealed Okay. Mario!